a Dread Fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my uploads. Uh, today again, it's another collaborative effort between myself and uh, Zen Yeti, uh, uh, Snowwalker. Um, this is another uh, eyewitness report. Uh, I'm going to have the links down below like I did in my last video with the Allagash sighting. Uh, this is another eyewitness report of a gentleman um, quite a few years ago who encountered something in the woods. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into detail about uh, the specifics. Like I said, I really want you guys to check out the link below because uh, it's part of a whole uh, package, part of the way that it's delivered with myself and Snow Walker and uh, some of the other artists that he might be using to, uh, to fill out the story. Um, it's nine illustrations. They took a total of just over 60 hours to complete. Each illustration is penciled, inked, then watercolored. And then I, sometimes I throw ink on top of that as well if I'm looking to make the image pop. I do believe in each one of these I add in a, a, a second layer of ink, so uh, it really does add to, to the quality, and uh, I, I just really like the style. Uh, you know, each image, uh, like I said, it's, it's done in a storyboard format, so they're done in sequence to tell a story. In the first illustration, you get a shot of the character. Uh, he's walking through the woods, then hanging out on a, on a stump, see something over his shoulder and then bam oh we get to see the creature sort of gazing over a honeysuckle bush and then you get to see the creature in all its glory uh, yeah uh, if that happens to be uh, uh, the picture you're looking at yeah you can definitely tell that this is a male Bigfoot creature uh, please check out the link it will all make sense in, uh, in, in the video that uh, Snow Walker is going to put together um, like I said, we're going for realism here, and this is exactly what uh, this eyewitness saw, and uh, I'm just trying to report it. Uh, it then moves on to uh, the character walking off, uh, the creature is following him. Then my favorite illustration of the whole bunch, uh, I do uh, my hand, my uh, left hand, uh, and then from that I, I draw a gorilla hand, and then I uh, hypothesize what I think a Bigfoot hand would look like using the eyewitness's uh, actual report of what he said the hand looked like. I then move on to uh, the eighth illustration which shows a headshot of the character, very sad expression. I'm sh you'll understand if you check out the link. And then the final picture shows the, uh, the eyewitness walking off and uh, the Bigfoot, Bigfoot sort of staring out from uh, behind a tree. Uh, it was a lot of fun uh, to do this. I really, I really do like doing these eyewitness reports. Um, Basically, I'm given the information, uh, everything down from location to uh, the circumstances surrounding what happened. And then I try to, in sequence, tell a story, which then Snow Walker will add to his audio that he's using. And together with what, uh, whatever other artists that he might use, we, we try to present a story that, uh, that makes sense and is compelling. This is definitely a compelling story. It's got some funny moments to it. Again, check out the link. Uh, briefly, before I let you guys go, um, I want to talk a little bit about these watercolor illustrations that I do in comic style. A lot of it is about timing. Um, sometimes I am, uh, when I'm adding the paint, I don't wait until the, the first layer is dry before I start adding a second layer. Like you'll notice with the grass and the leaves of the trees, it's almost dry. Almost at that point of uh, being dry when I will then add a darker color. Uh, sometimes I do wait until it's completely dry if I want it to be a sharper image, and I might even go in over a third layer. But it, it's about time. You want a little bit of that wetness so that that secondary color, it's not as sharp. It splays out, and um, I find that it adds a touch of realism to the overall comic book feel that I'm going for. Um, like I said, please check out the link down below. Uh, I guess a great eyewitness report. I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, I can't. I can't say enough about uh, uh, the enjoyment I get out of telling the, these stories and then Snow Walker putting it together into something that, you know, everybody can use. Yeah, all the windows are open. It's a beautiful day here and uh, where we're located, so sorry about the truck. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe to uh, my channel. Don't forget to, like I said, like the video and uh, check out the link down below. Dread fun out.
redfund.com production. Thanks for watching.